terminal illness, my entire aura is sick A belligerent alcoholic, paraplegic That means I drink till I can't walk Suicide king, I outline myself in chalk You good? Alright, we're here with another moment of chaos Swan the Baptist, speak nasty along with Braggs um, And uh, Braggs, how long have you been at this graffiti game for? Styling, bragging on your bastards, chaotic in this motherfucker, tagging on your asses. To get the name twisted and pronounce your can't take. We got the extra small shirts for the girls with big tits. Doing everything though, from MMA shows to chilling at a bar, playing music for my folks. Man, graffiti, I've been doing that since I was young. Uh, I would say early junior high years, I started dabbling in graffiti. What was your first tag? My first name, or yeah, yeah, yeah. first time I got down? Uh, yeah, your first name, your first name. Uh, my first name, uh, Slay, S-L-A, and I did the S with the L-A, even though I was from Arizona. <laughs> 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 so the slaz. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, wait a second. But, so uh, what, what hyped you up into it? Was it like... Beat Street or Wild Style, the, the uh, movies, or just the local scene? It was actually more of like seeing uh, gang related stuff up and yeah. then just trying to make it more like artsy, you know right. what I mean? I wasn't involved in any gangs, but just seeing that and then knowing how much art, how much I liked art, I just wanted to be like, man, I want to do something like that, but something my style. Universal. This is the language spoken by all, explaining everything that happens in a realm of physical form, breaking it down with the. You know what I mean? So that's kind of why I wanted to do it, and then my cousins did it, so I kind of just threw me in the scene a little bit more. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I, I grew up in, in the Bronx, so I, I was around, like, TAT crew, like, a lot of classic graffiti shit. I oh, mean, yeah. like, the, uh, the bombing on the train, especially as a kid. And uh, so, how much of that influenced your style on uh, what you bring? Um, a lot of that, yeah. Getting on like uh, the computer and looking at stuff like that. I didn't have a lot of that where I grew up in right. Tucson, Arizona, yeah, but <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of that stuff definitely motivated me. And seeing it like going out here to California, coming, seeing the walls out here. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. The crazy. mills and whatnot. Yeah. Some of your favorite pieces that you so okay so you would write in a notebook right yeah and then books. yeah and then so then what did you say you know I'm, I got to get this ball one and when did you finally graduate bust your cherry uh, let's see first night I went out I got busted on a rooftop <laughs> yeah first night I was out for I probably hit probably out doing my thing I never really vandalized like that shit I just sort of I don't know I got up. Uh, on some walls that are already tagged up on, but this night I decided to get up on a rooftop and uh, a tow truck guy saw me and he turned around and called the cops and by the time I got down there, already down there trying to arrest me, so. Yeah, yeah. Did you finish the piece at least? No, I didn't. I, uh, I saw him, so I saw Of a Christmas carol, and in our first battle, I don't prove that I'm greater. I won't be a hater. I think of Ali versus Frazier with the fruits of Joe. So I saw him, got down, and by the time I got down there, he was trying to get me. Were you you were still Slay at the time? Yeah, S L A. Yep. Yeah. What other tags you had, or you want to keep it low? Or? Uh, nah, nah. Uh, S L A. Slay was like back. Let's see, what year was that? That was probably 2002. Yeah. And then uh, graduated to the name Shock S H O K. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, like yeah, and then in probably 2006, 2007, I was introduced to this guy that did trains, Little Man from Wop Crew out in Philly. Oh, where? Uh, I was like, man, I'm sick of this name, I just want to write something new, he told me to write Brag a lot, so that's where Brags came from, yeah, and then yeah. I just changed it to Brags, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm diminished, been tormented beyond abnormal limits Until I'm a stiff and corpse, summer written Lord Tennyson My liquid sword, leave hordes, grimacing, perfectionist, a mental Changes to Brags, and uh, you didn't do it with the Z though, right? You never did it with the Z Nah, <laughs> nah <laughs> that Z always gotta go Yeah, yeah, nah, B-R-A-G-S, for yeah, yeah, sure, dope. yeah And then, uh, yeah, just kind of made my own style What, uh, what colors do you like to work with most? I like all colors, man Like, I like the, just blending different colors colors that definitely go together and then uh the black i like outlining in black like a hard thick black yeah to just make it 
about the any old yeah. school uh, with the bubble netter type gift yeah, or like yeah. those. I try to bring like the old school style with my new school new school style right. a little bit. Try to blend them up a little yeah. bit, you know. What uh, pieces in particular are you proud of that you've done? I know I seen the chaotic one. Chaotic, yeah, yeah that was ridiculous. Chaotic, yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, that was a Yeah, catch that video. Five hours of paint, two or four minutes songs, brags, spawns, new legend, chaotic, making history, Venice, so I walk mobbing. Yeah, they brought me out to California for the first time to do like some legal graffiti that I was really pumped on. So uh, that's one of my good pieces I'm really proud of. Yeah. Uh, other ones are like in warehouses for clothing lines. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Illegal billboards. Like right, right, right. doing billboards. Yeah, yeah. Out the freeways. Yeah. So you have no fear just climbing up there. You're like, fuck it, let's just. Yeah, scream. I mean, you have that little fear, especially when you're up there and it starts swaying. Like, <laughs> right, 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 the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. I yeah, love yeah. It, man. And you do a Krylons and the the um, I can't think of it when you have the stick on the wall with the. You do all that or just straight pieces? I just do straight freehand, just like all out. From the dome, like I don't even bring a sketch to the wall, really. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, yeah. Like so I could bring a freestyle, sketch. Yeah, freestyle. Yeah, it's all freestyle. Dog has given me for each and every mission. Hair girl on white, they try to beat me in a submission. Got two on the outside, gathering intel. I never fail, train to kill, specialized to excel. One shot, three kill, ice bullet melts in your dome. Body warm up the evidence, stealth is how I roam. So, what do you think about like the fact that graffiti and like say like Naya? 84, 83, and b-boying was like the most prolific part of the, you know, hip-hop, and now it's like almost like this forgotten child, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I mean, this is like, this is it right here, I mean, look at this, this was, this was hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, this embodied hip-hop, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so it's kind of like the forgotten child, because they can't make money off of it, you know, corporate America, so I mean, what is your opinion on that, like, you know, like, in terms of, like, the art, the lost art, do you think it's getting lost, or getting resurrected? Um, I think it's just evolving in a way. Like that was those are the founders, those are dudes that paved the way. Yeah. And um I mean they're still around but the kids these days are like they can get on the internet right and look at a piece. Right, right. And they, they have that luxury. Yeah, they have that luxury. Yeah, I mean, they have luxury. Like, yeah so uh I mean we all try to keep it around like the true guys like always try to keep around like the old school styles and all that. But uh yeah, they all paved the way, man, if it wasn't for like the old school hip hop. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. Yeah. It's graffiti. Yeah. All right. All right, Bryce. Good looking out. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Analyze while we alive. See we can prize by some programming guys. And this is a game of life. Lombardi calculus. No matter how advanced it gets, the brain supreme still exists. You can't move one side of the equation without things that the equal side changes. For every man's that means what you put out, you're going to get back. Hormonic revolutions of life for a bitch like that. Can't calculate the spirit, but it's still a part of the math. It's like finding a god gene.